Hey, this is Alex Tweedale here, Product Manager at Checked, and today I'm very excited to show you how to utilize our new Payment Rails functionality using the Veramo SDK for Checked. Uh, we've got a set of tutorials here which I'm going to walk through today, starting with how to charge for an encrypted status list on Ledger, followed by how to issue a verifiable credential including an encrypted status list, and finally, how a verifier is able to pay an issuer in order to unlock this encrypted status list. So going into the first tutorial, um, step one here is to create a DID. So in the background, I'm gonna get everything ready to create a brand new DID. Quickly using our create DID tutorial, I'm gonna use this transaction, the Verano execute check to generate DID doc uh, to generate a DID doc template. I'm gonna specify JSON web key 2020. I'm gonna specify UUID and I'm gonna do this on checks testnet. So here's my CLI now, and I'm going to generate the template for my new did doc. That's now generated a set of identity keys and a new uh, did identifier, which I can copy into a payload file, payload file to uh, publish onto the ledger. In the background, I've just compiled a payload file with that new generated did, and I'm going to save this as a file called video did payload.json. Next, I'm going to use this uh, transaction to submit that payload file to the ledger to create my did onto the ledger. You can see here that the transaction has successfully gone through. And if I just quickly go to the block explorer, I can see that this did that I've just generated has now been uh, created on our ledger. Once we've created our did, the next step is to create, uh, a com a, to compile a status list 2021 payload file. And I'm gonna choose this one with revocation. So copying this, uh, this information into VS Code, I'm going to populate a payload file for create, creating a status list 2021 resource. So I've just compiled this payload file where I've put in my newly created issuer did. I've called this status list video encrypted status list. The status purpose is revocation, which means it's going to be a revocation list. I've set my checked uh, address as the fee payment address. So me as the issuer will get paid to this address. I've set the unlock amount to 10 check, which is, uh, you know, 10 times 10 to the nine nano check. Um, and I've set the interval in seconds to 600, which is 10 minutes. And this means that a verifier has 10 minutes from making the payment to verifying the credential and claiming that they've met the access control conditions. The final step for creating an encrypted status list resource is to execute this transaction on Ledger. So I'm gonna copy this transaction here and paste this alongside my payload file into the CLI. So as we can see, this uh, transaction has just gone through. We can see that it's typed status list 2021 revocation. The encrypted equals true, which means that it's, it's an encrypted resource on Ledger. And we can go and check on the Block Explorer quickly, and we can see that there's now a create resource transaction 37 seconds ago. So I can click into this, and what I can see is We've got an encrypted encoded list. This is the actual bit string of the status list itself, which is encrypted. Um, we've got metadata about when I submitted the status list, such as when it's valid from, uh, such as the type of status list, such as encrypted equals true. We've also got access control conditions or payment conditions uh, for a verifier to be able to unlock this. So you can see my checked address is here. We've got the fee payment amount, which is 10 check. And we've got 600 seconds as the uh, interval. So that's how uh, you create a sort of encrypted status list on Checked. Um, the next step is going to be issuing a verifiable credential, including reference to this status list. And then finally, we're going to show how to verify an encrypted status list on Ledger.